hi guys welcome to my channel so as you can see we will require four pedals for honda civic so for the clutch and brake pedal i had to order them from ebay due to rare variability and the link is in description now for the throttle pedal the new one was not available so i ordered a used one and i removed the stainless steel pedal cover from the frame for the fourth one that is the rest or dead pedal i decided to make it myself Now we are drilling holes on our rest paddle for riveting the stainless steel paddle cover that we just created. I added a back plastic sheet with some double sided tape behind so it fills the space between paddle and paddle cover and avoid sand from filling in between them. Make sure the holes you drill for rivets 
are not bigger and fits rivets perfectly so that the rivets can securely tighten the pedal covers. Installing rest paddles is really easy as there are only two locks behind it so you just have to tap twice and till you hear a click and it's done. For the company fitted paddle covers you can simply peel them off from the paddles. Do clean your paddles before installing the new paddle covers. You can see the difference between the old paddle and the new paddle. Please wear safety glasses before drilling as safety comes first.
The holes were a little smaller so I had to drill them more. The installation process of clutch paddle is exactly same as that of the brake paddle. Like for the rest paddle, I have also created a plastic black sheet for the throttle paddle.
put some support behind the throttle paddle as they are more sensitive. If you are using a bottle for a support, make sure you remove it from the driver section as they can roll down behind your brake paddle, jamming your brake paddle that could lead to an accident.